Hi, I'm Bobby. We're doing some freestyle creative coding tonight. What I've got here is a grid of a bunch of extruded geometry, these little squares. And I'm, based on the mouse position, coloring those squares. So this acts like when I move my mouse around, it's like I'm slinging a paintbrush. And the paint is constantly shifting hue. So you're getting blues and greens shifting to yellows and oranges and reds and purples back to blues and so if I just drag it straight across you can see that rainbow I just think it's a really cool effect oh and each of the squares in this grid is kind of undulating with this noise and so I thought it'd be fun to do a couple of things let's, well, let's look at the code for this and let's modify it too I thought um, uh, as you paint, it would be fun if it were glowing and then that glow kind of faded down. I think that might be a cool effect. Let's dive in. So what the heck is going on here? Let's break it down. I'm creating a grid of squares. I'm doing that. I create a group. And I'm, I've got a for loop somewhere in here. Here we go. <clears throat> I've got a num calls, which is set to 50 and a num rows. And inside of there, I'm calculating this offset y. Um, and that's, that's done for every other line. This, this figure here, i mod 2, is going to take each number as i counts from, let's see, i is, is from 0 to 50. It'll, it'll be, uh, Mod 2, so how does mod 2, how do you describe that? It's going to tell you when the number is even in this case. And, in, and I'm saying, oh, when it's even, offset the x. If I were to comment out this line or just say 0, then there'd be no change because I'm in the wrong file. Hang on a second. Let's pull up this version. Actually, let's... Reveal this in Finder, duplicate it, call it version A, and then continue with version A, like so. There's probably a more version control-y way to do this, but this is the way I'm doing it right now. So here's our four nested for loops to create the grid, and if I just modify this offset Y, this will result in all of the grids, all, all of the diamonds, the squares being on the same uh, for each line. But now I'm saying, well, for every other line, offset them uh, in the negative x-axis, spacing x being 0 0.2. Cool. That's how we're creating this array of grids. In this get square method, I'm just taking in the pause, and I'm adding in... Um, well, I'm randomizing the Z position. Isn't that interesting? What if I just said Z was zero? Then these would all be uniform. And also, I need to modify the update method here. Here. Now they all just stay in a, a nice plain old grid, which is cool, but not as fun as the um, having that offset. You know what would be fun to do? Uh, if I said mesh that position dot z is equal to um, uh, t minus distance times 0 0.1 mod 1. Uh, and I think the mod 1 will give me just that decimal. And I'm going to make sure I get the order. I'm not sure about the order of ops for mod, so let's do this. And now as I paint, it kind of offsets them based on the hue. I kind of like this feeling too. Um, and if I were to add in the orbit controls, I could kind of pan around and see. I don't have those in right now. Let's uh, import orbit controls. Yeah, that, that one there. And this needs to be libs. And then instantiate the orbit controls. Except let's say um, const controls controls equals that and then I can I can modify that a little bit 
I could say uh, controls controls dot. I don't want to say target dot set. I want to say damping damping factor uh, enable damping. That that's what I want to. And let's come down and we need to add to our animation loop now. Controls dot update. Okay. Oh, I broke it. And that's because I can't find the orbit controls. I've got a weird... No, that's not weird. That looks good to me. What did I do wrong? Anyone see what I did wrong? I don't know what I did wrong. Orbit controls .js. Thanks a lot. All right, so I'm offsetting some of these, a little more and some less, and then I can pan around and see that offset. I don't know. It's interesting, and I like that they're casting shadows. That's a cool thing, too. Not what I signed up for, though. And where'd the middle guys go? Where'd these go? Um, 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 um. Let's disable that change I just made. This one. And now we're back to just painting regular. And let's turn that noisy kind of undulating thing back on again and focus on the emissive. So this is the thing, uh, mesh dot material dot emissive dot set HSL. Uh, this, is, this is the hue. Let's, let's break that down into hue. Um, let hue equal this value. And then we'll pass that hue into both of these. I don't have to repeat that formula like so. And now it's really glowy. Well, what I want is the hue to over time. Uh, just let's see, emissive dust set HSL. I, I think there's an emissive intensity. What's it called? Um, emissive intensity. Yeah. And we'll drop that down. We'll start at, I don't know, what the 0.1 look like. It looks pretty mild. Whereas zero looks like it did before. And one looks really bright. So we'll start at one and drop to zero. Um, just remove that. What we'll do is say else, um, Mesh dot material dot emissive dot set no emissive intensity um, minus equals zero point zero one. It's going to gradually drop down, and we'll say this intensity starts at zero point five. That's fine with me. Let's see what happens. Ooh, I guess it goes too low. Yeah, once it gets too low, it's pretty bad. It's black, in fact. So, equals math dot max zero comma uh, emissive. What, what's a good variable name for emissive intensity? I guess emissive intensity. <laughs> emissive, inten emissive intensity. And we're, we broke that out into its own variable now. Uh, oh, actually, I want to do else but it's going to be emissive intensity minus equals 0 0.01 or 0, 0, 0.05, a little bit slower. And close that off, and then now we've got an error. Shoot. Oh, because I didn't define this, did I? And I want to define it outside of the update method. I'm going to say let emissive intensity equal 0. Thank you. Oh, that's not good. Is there an error? Oh, yes, there is. 
Not defined. I thought I had just defined it. Ah, uh, I didn't spell it the same. It should have one M. My bad. Whoops. One M, not zero words of the characters at all. That's still an error. Emissive, tens emissive intensity. Hmm. Fine. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? So our paintbrush is now kind of glowy, and then it fades down. Oh, I love it when you get a nice surprise. I kind of want to boost up. Um, let's boost up the kind of waviness a little bit. Maybe that's noise scale. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, it is. Or actually, that that kind of um. Did that make it repeat more? Let's let's just double that again and see. Yeah, it makes it more chonky. I liked it where it was. It's the intensity that I want. Uh, noise scale equals ns times 0 0.3. So this is kind of like, this is really frequency. Do you know what I'm saying? It's the frequency of the noise. If I increase this value, it's bumpier because the, the frequency is higher and there's smaller noise bits. Noise frequency. And what I want this value to be is the scale. Um, if right, uh, or, the, or the like uh, height, so to speak, let's call it noise scale because it sounds good. Const and scale equals 0 0.5. That's slightly higher. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, see, it's a little bit wavier. I almost want those shadows to be darker. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, and we can dec we can increase the size of our brush. Um, we could play with having some drop off too, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. But I think we have a nice tool now. <coughs> Grapefruit Spindrift is not a sponsor of this video. But it's excellent when you have to cough. All right. Um, what if I do the miss uh, from this side? Oh, that doesn't work at all. You can see the emissive fade down on that side. Lots of things we could do. We could use hexes instead of uh, squares. Um, we could change the, uh, have it drop off a little bit right now. Our paintbrush kind of has a hard edge, but it'd be cool if it kind of faded out. And maybe you want to be able to control the hue a little bit more. Maybe not. I like how, how colorful it is. Or change the color palette. Ooh, that's a good one. I want to do that. But that's it for now. Um, please let me know if you have any comments or questions. Leave them below. Like and subscribe. See you next time.